Good morning and welcome to Wild Horseman Adventures. My name is Stu Brown. I own and operate the sleigh riding concession at Silver Star Mountain Resort in Vernon, British Columbia. These are my uh, horses here. I have three Clydesdales, three Percherons, and uh, an extra Percheron. These horses are uh, bred, born and bred to, uh, to uh, haul sleighs, wagons, what have you. They're all uh, exceptionally well broke horses except for a couple of them that are new this year. But they're generally all pretty good. Excellent. Okay. Now, they're, they're pulling horses. We filmed the Falkland Stampede. Yep. Uh, have you ever entered them in? No, I've never entered in the uh, heavy horse pull. Yeah. Um, my background, I've, I've been, I've cowboyed for a living. I've, uh, I've done some horse logging. I've, horse uh, logging? Yes, sir. In British Columbia? Yes, sir. That uh, must be a real... It's a hell of a good time. <laughs> So I've done some horse logging, done some uh, hunt guiding, done some cowboying. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my experience. With, You've been uh, doing this up here for four years? This is my fourth season up here. So you're familiar with everything. Would you say that right now the snow is a little bit late coming to? Absolutely, it's very late. And that's impacting obviously your business. So I'm hoping it won't. Um, <laughs> yeah, and snow is coming. Snow is coming. Yeah, I mean, it snowed a little bit last night. We're expecting snow tonight. Yeah. Uh, the road to my restaurant has been closed, effective this morning. You have a restaurant here too? Yes, sir. Okay. We go from uh, the village to the Wild Horseman's Cabin, where my wife will uh, do up a meal of steak, salmon, uh, or uh, steak, salmon, ribs, yeah. or vegetarian pasta. When do you, when are you now going to be officially? In we are officially open December 1st, and we will operate until March 31st, perhaps the first week of April, if there is demand. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Brave dog. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice shape, your horses. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Come on, big boy. Get out of here. So, are you sure to push on? Uh, that's my Clydesdale. That's one of my Clydesdale mares. Oh, okay. And th that's uh, Nori. Mm-hmm. And this is Diesel. He's a Percheron. She's a Clyde. Beautiful. They are something like He's that. gorgeous. What would be the distinctive difference between them? Well, if you have a look at the. Uh... Let me just do this up here. Yeah. Bring Nori around here for a sec, then, so they can get a good look at the feet. Back up. Back up. Okay. This is Nori. So you see Nori? Mm -hmm. Clydesdale, right? Yeah. See all the hair on the bottom of the legs? Yes. That's called feathering. That's the feathers. Okay. Look at her. Now look at Diesel. She's beautiful. He doesn't have much at all, right? Oh, okay. So that's kind of a that's one of the ways to tell the difference between the Clydes and the Percheron. Yeah. And you know, oftentimes the uh, the Clydesdales are a little just a little bit bigger, but um, you know, she's just a young horse. She's yeah, only six years old, mouse, so yeah. she's going to fill out some more. Really? Yeah. And uh, this guy here, this horse right here. He's mm -hmm. walking around there facing us now. That's Slim. And he is a back. He is a five-year-old Clydesdale gelding. Yeah. Okay. Now he's got he's got most of his height, but he's gonna probably put on again a, th a third of his width again. Really? He's gonna he's gonna widen right up. Yeah. You know. How about temperament wise? Is there a difference in them? Um, not so much with yeah. the draft horses, Joe. Draft horses as a general rule are fairly even tempered. Yeah. Okay. You know, like a lot of a lot of folks will say that the thoroughbreds and uh, Arabian horses, for example, they're they're sketchier than hell, right? Yeah. They're just spinnier in a shithouse rack. <laughs> um, and that's often the case. Uh, they're 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 high they're yeah. high strung. Okay. As a general rule, the draft horses, Percherons, Clydes, Belgians, they're pretty laid back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, they're pretty laid back. Like, and my horses in particularly up here, they have to be extremely laid back. Mm -hmm. Because we got all kinds of people, all kinds of equipment. You know, I mean, in, you know, in the, exactly. in the summertime, if yeah. they're pulling a wagon, there's bicycles. I mean, right, you know, now there's there's going to be cross country skiers. There's going to be snow cats. There's going to be big tractors and machines. You know, these horses are damn near bomb proof. That's awesome. Now, yeah, shoes on their summer long. Well, we have an or operation down in Summerland. Oh, okay. Summerland uh, uh, Kettle Valley Trail Rides and Carriage Company, which is operated by my dad. And that one we run, uh, we run summers. Okay. 
you know, we do trail rides. Do you have special shoes for the feet for going in the snow or ice? No, uh, you can get special shoes. They uh, they have corks on them, yeah, like a, like a, like a logger's boots, okay, and that'll help them uh, grip on the ice. But because my horses are only on the uh, hard surface mm -hmm. for a very limited period of time each day, right? <laughs> we have to go from here to the village. And then once we're once we're there, we're we're on uh, we're on snow, right. and they don't need to uh, have shoes. So I run my horses barefoot. I tried shoeing them last year. Tell you what, you know, fifteen hundred bucks every six weeks, boy. Really? Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I had a guy. I had a guy quote me one hundred and sixty dollars a foot. Wow. For 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 shoes. And there is a local farrier. There? There's all kinds of guys that'll yeah. do it. But really? you know, quite honestly, a lot of the farriers um, don't really like to do the big horses. Mm -hmm. Because uh, some of them can be sketchy, and I mean, yeah. you know what? Horseshoeing is is hard, hard work, and yeah, I don't begrudge sure. those guys a nickel of their money. Yeah. Except yeah. for the guy that wanted a buck sixty a foot. <laughs> yeah, no Thank you. The horses are very well looked after. And Cindy's found a puppy to play with. Back of that horse is almost as tall as I am, and I'm not that tall. Well, I'm five ten.